So what do you do, man? What do you do when you're just not feeling it? What do you do when no matter what you try, you are just in a funk and Bruno Mars can't even save you? Hey, Jim Schultz here for F-Cubed and livefcubed.com. Bring you guys content, man, fitness, finance, faith. That is no fluff, all follow through, baby. So if this is your first time finding the channel, please consider subscribing and make sure you stay tuned to the end today because I got a special little bonus just for you guys. Today, I want to give you guys three simple and easy tips to help you snap out of those funks that will inevitably hit us all. So let's get right into it. Just naturally speaking, God has blessed me with a pretty positive, optimistic attitude. And for that, I am forever, forever grateful. But man, I still have bad days. I mean, I still have days and moments and seasons where no matter what I do, man, I am just down in the dumps. So here's what I do, and here's what I recommend you guys try. Number one is pray. Pray, man. Tell God what's going on. Dump everything out there, too. Don't hold anything back. Because let's not forget, he's got it. He knows it all anyway. So this is going to be for your benefit, not really his benefit. So man, open up, pray, share all your thoughts, share all your feelings with God because he is always there to listen. Never underestimate the power of prayer because prayer never fails. I mean, I know from my own experience, I will be really struggling. I will be really just wrestling with something and then I pray and immediately I feel better. Immediately I feel a little bit lighter. So that is my first suggestion. Second tip, <clears throat> tap into some neuro-linguistic programming techniques. NLP is basically the idea that through your thoughts and your words, you can reframe how you experience the world around you. One of these ideas within NLP is called anchoring. NLP anchoring is where you start to associate some desired feeling with a specific phrase. And you start this process by thinking back to a time when you felt that feeling and then repeating that phrase to yourself over and over. For example, suppose you're not feeling super confident. Suppose you're just not feeling super confident in yourself. Well, think back to a time when you actually were pretty confident and remind yourself Hey, I can do this. I've done this before. I can't tell you guys how many times I've said to myself, I can do this. I've done this before. And so if you see me walking around the streets, I may look like a crazy person because I just keep mumbling to myself, I've done this before. I've done this before. I've done this before. When it comes to positive self-affirmations for self-confidence or positive self-affirmations for self-esteem, this stuff works, man. It works really well. Lastly, and this one's going to seem pretty obvious coming from me. Get in the gym, man. Get in the gym and get some work done. Because there is nothing like a training session to make you feel on top of the world. I mean, use whatever workout encouragement you need to to get in the gym and release those endorphins. Because endorphins make you happy. So how to increase endorphins? Squat, sprint, superset, or hey, here's a slam dunk. How about all the above? So there you go, man. How to get energized and motivated. Three surefire ways to help you find that energy and find that motivation. But here's a little bonus tip, man. Download the mystery behind motivation right now. This is a little ebook that I put together a few years ago with one singular objective to get you guys motivated, to get you guys inspired, to help you find that energy in fitness and finance. The link to that guy is right below in the description. It's a quick, easy read. Download that guy now. And be sure to hit me with that trifecta. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.